the priest Hierophant invokes the oracle of the Persephone, the maiden Kore. The holy and most pure core embodiment of truth and justice, compassion and joy, bring to us thy gifts of love and wisdom. Behold, rivers spring from the dark earth and flow into the sea, and the sun draws them into the sky as cloud. From thence they fall as rain and form new streams. In like manner do I manifest, in changing form appearing, but ever the same. Whenever evil predominates over good, I come among you that free choice may be restored. During the age it is now departing, I taught withdrawal into monastery and nunnery that the virtues of faith, chastity and humility should prevail with men drunk with violence and cruel tyranny. Enclosed within walls, Penitents attempted to submit their obsessive passions to a spiritual goal. When many failed, religious persecution stained the age of faith, and women drew veils about themselves to protect their growing souls. From many men and women there came a spiritual harvest of lovely saints who grew as water lilies in still lakes. Now a new era is dawning, and the humble must learn to rule, the gentle to defend the weak. Women should stand forth and enact the mother's will. Lo, I am calm, hear my call. Defend our children, the animals. Protect our woods and waters. This lovely earth was entrusted to the human race to help all its creatures and plants in the evolution of life through its myriad forms. Instead, ignoring the goddess of nature, you have become tyrants over her realm, destroying those you should care for. You are laying waste her sacred earth. I am her daughter. My mother and I are one. Some of you hear my voice in the silence. Many see my face. From me you learn ideals that shall come to pass. You learn that you are kin with every being on this planet. For though you prevail with intellect and dexterity, every creature and thing has its individual spirit in the divine world. And I am sister to all. So bring the eternal sphere of reality into manifestation, into the shadow world which reflects it. For alas, the image has become distorted. Unity of heaven and earth is attained not through duality, through opposing forces, but through wholeness. The idea expresses itself through nature as we love each other and all and honor truth. Do not forget happiness and laughter and even kindly tears. These show forth my presence. I rejoice with children and young animals and birds. I am with you in music and poetry and the dance. Bird song is mine, and the gentle falling of rain is my transparent veil. Look also above at the stars, for from thence I come in fullness.